so this is actually filmed well after the drive shaft broke but i'm adding this for context um i had driven that truck for a long distance uh probably shouldn't have and i noticed the truck was vibrating a lot on the highway though i assume this is just a highway oh it's bumpy i pull over the truck i was checking to make sure the truck wasn't overheating which i'd done on the highway a lot to make sure the truck hadn't overheated and it wasn't, so I went to start up the truck again, and it wouldn't move. So I shut it off, started it back up again, and the truck, the back of the truck specifically, started heavily vibrating. So I shut it off, and I went and looked around, and I seen on the ground, the drive shaft was on the ground. And I was like, oh, so I had to call AAA, and they towed it back home. <laughs> well, me and him kind of got in there, and I calmed down, and I just been wide. I didn't know. I mean, I probably turned out like that. I could park, though. That's all, you know. That is all. <laughs> you got an oil leak, too. Hey, you got an oil leak, too. Yeah, he Yeah, know. I thought that was oil. He knew he had an oil leak. Oh, those bikes are probably not This thing is a money pit, but track version. Huh? Where's your key at? Uh, should be in there. There it is. Remember we caught on fire under the dash? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we fixed that though. Remember Zach said this is a good, dependable truck? Huh. Shit. Well, he wanted 3,000 for it originally. You see, he, talk, he, talked down, he talked him down. He talked him down to six fifty. And then you end up giving him seven fifty. I agree. Stupid. I yeah. agree in the middle. You don't ever pay more than what somebody wants. He wanted three thousand dollars for this. He smoked the crack. No, yeah. he got hired by all the way from Kelly. He paid him a hundred dollars more than what he wanted. I paid him fifty more. He said six fifty, and you gave him seven fifty. No, I think he, he wanted seven hundred to eight hundred. He then later said, so I said seven fifty. Well, I'm like fifty dollars ain't much. Well, you got screwed over. Anyway. Well, <laughs> him and Zach were the ones who originally brought the idea to me. At me. So. <laughs> uh, he, he said you and Zach. Yeah. I just he's, thought it'd be a he's good putting out the he's putting out the, the blame there, now aren't you, Jacob? Take care of their good trucks, but when they don't take care of them like this, right. like I said, in every Chevy you know, if it's not rust on the quarter panels and everything else, don't buy it. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> We're fixing it. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Might as well. See, even the tow truck guys ends up driving that Well, not everybody knows tow truck drivers or mechanics. Who else told you that? To get this you guys. Find a way to buy a new cab. Yeah. You don't want to find a way. You think it's worth fixing that? No. No. No, because that drive shaft's going to cost more than what the charge was. Uh -huh. Oh, that is nice. Oh, okay. They're looking at probably four or five hundred bucks that drive shaft, maybe. Now, that's just to rebuild it. Yeah. That'll oh. put labor. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they're not cheap. Oh. That's pretty empty. You know how that shakes like that? Yeah. Now, look at the truck. If you look at the truck when it's like parked, the tires are gone. What, what, what is that hanging down there? This? Yeah. I think that's for the tire. That's for a tire. Oh. Spare tire. See the rust? What you can see is the rust up there. Yeah. That's the uh, bottom of the bed. You can just imagine what it looks like the floorboards and stuff. Yeah. And what's not rusted is from the oil leaking up there. Yeah. The only good thing about the oil leaking is it's coating it. Yeah, Save keep it. it up from rust and more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 yeah, you see where the wheel well goes to the too. You yeah. see daylight. See, on these older trucks, you got to do a full inspection on them. Yeah. When you buy them. Yeah. Because they do rust out. Well, I didn't know any mechanics. Not your dad. <laughs> <laughs>
He's, he's the closest person I knew that knew about cars besides he Papaw. Know a lot about cars, besides Papaw, but Papaw can't move and look under the vehicle. I would have